After adding the drilling cycle, I'll need to add a tapping cycle to create the internal threads. I'll select just the PEC drilling operation. And again, I'll right click on it and drag it down to create a copy after the drilling operation. I'll minimize some of these to make more room. I'll select the parameters to edit the tool path from a drilling cycle to a tapping cycle. I'll select the tool tab followed by select library tool, filter, none for the tool type and then I'll select the right handed taps as the tool to search for. I'll set the tool diameter to equal 5 sixteenths and accept these search parameters. Now I'll select the 5 sixteenths 24 fine pitch tap and accept this selection. When tapping, it's critical that the feed and speed be synchronized or the hole will not have a proper thread when the cycle is over. To synchronize the speed and feed, the tap feed rate must equal the RPM times the pitch. It's critical that you verify this in your feed rate. To make this an easy number to check in your head, I'll click in the spindle speed field and type the threads per inch of 24 followed by a zero so that the field now reads 240 and I'll press the enter key. Notice how the feed rate updates to 10 since 240 multiplied by 1 over 24 equals 10. This is a bit slow for tapping but if I multiply the spindle speed by 3 to get an RPM of 720 the feed rate will update to 30. These values are easy to check in your head if you remember one simple rule. Take the number of threads per inch and multiply it by 10 to get the RPM. The feed rate will always be 10 inches per minute. This is a bit slow for tapping but will work and it's easy to double or triple when verifying the results in your head. I'll change the comments to tap the holes. I'll select the cut parameters tab and select the tapping cycle from the drop down menu. Notice how all the fields are grayed out. The graphic is showing you that the tap will spin forward until it reaches the bottom of the hole where the spindle will stop, spin in reverse while the tap feeds out of the hole. This will produce the G84 code on Fanuc controlled machines. I'll select the linking parameters and here I want to make certain that the machine has enough time to synchronize the speed and feed so I'll select the retract value to three times the pitch by typing three divided by twenty-four here. I don't need to go to the coolant tab because if I look at the quick view I can see the coolant is on as it should be since the operation was copied. I'll now accept the selection and I'll regenerate the toolpath. In the next lesson I'll demonstrate how to save the simulation results as a stock model for when the other side of the part is being programmed.